Now Butch is only 46 years old and he tells us he has no plans to retire as long as his hands hold up. He's hoping to follow in the footsteps of a man that pretty much started his career in the arts. We're talking about 82-year-old John Henry Tony, a plowman turned painter whose artwork has been featured in museums across the United States. And as you're soon going to find out, Tony credits God for his inspiration to create. If I don't go out there and rob, steal, and kill, my problem already solved. Born in 1928 in Russell County, Alabama, John Henry Tony is known to some of his friends as Mustache Jesus, a deeply religious folk artist. Tony's work often reflects primal conditions in biblical scenes, women, animals, architecture, and the occasional airplane. John is him. Real important, real important. Um, it's what I'm saying. That that tell me if I can draw, that I got my right mind and my good remembering. See, a lot of people can think of things today, and tomorrow they can't think of some young people that way, and some old ones too. John Henry attended school up until the seventh grade, and working in farming for most of his life, he says he had never contemplated becoming a formal artist. But he had sketched in school and even on the job. Working in a cotton field nearly 30 years ago, he drew a picture of his boss and was fired. But it wasn't until he was 66 years old that he says God inspired him once again to create. So as a man thinks, so are he. That's what Jesus said. If you think something good, you try to do things which is good and not bad. So he drew a picture of a turnip. One, he says, had a face on it. It sold for $50. And that was the beginning of his new career. How long have you been drawing for? I would say between 25 and 30 years. 30 years? Uh-huh. Wow. Does it ever get old? Do you ever feel like quitting? Well, no, 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 I don't feel like quitting. Because this is what I think. When you know how to make a dollar at home and sit at home in your bedroom, that's some real important. Don't you think so? Yeah. You know, some folks don't know but one way to make a dollar that you out there make it unrighteousness. But see, I make mine righteous. Today, his pieces mainly drawn with paint pens can go for several hundred dollars. Subjects can range from the battle of the sexes to prehistoric creatures. The real primitives, mostly cows and women. He sees women coming in the white spot in the little grocery store up here with us fancy hairdos and things. <laughs> he comes back and draws them. A lot of times he puts earrings in their nose, you know, <laughs> weird earrings. But he ought to be a dress designer because all these dresses he comes up with, just all the patterns on them and big flowing dresses. Yeah, I have drove all night. My baby brother told me, he said, what you should do, you should sleep all day and draw all night. Why at night, though? Well, I, I, it be quiet, be quiet. You won't hardly hear nothing, maybe a dog or bark, something like that. Now, if you carry a piece of my art with you, somebody say, I'd say, well, this is Henry Tony. Say, I know him. You understand what I'm saying? But now, my what hadn't been there, you can have that conversation. You, they, you never will know if they know me and you know them, see what I mean? On the day our crew met up with him, he introduced us to one of his many fancy ladies. It's been a pretty good while since I drove this to him, because this was something I was supposed to take can tell. Who is that? Well, just a lady. Well, I just call her Miss Beautify. That's what I call her, Miss Beautify. What does she symbolize? Well, uh, she symbolized these women now. See, these women now, they wear a belt on the side, and they'll have a pocketbook on this arm and a pocketbook on the other arm. 
You might not pay too much attention, but when you ride, you ride and look, you see most of the women got two and three pocket boots. Why is that important? What, what do you think that means to you? Well, uh, my judgment that they might have a gun in one of them, and they might have money, and then if a man grab one, he won't have all the money. That's my judgment. You see, I can draw these women, you know, with all these. You probably might not do that, no. But you take these women have two and three pocketbooks on the side. Well, I can draw that too. Other words, I got a penny made 1899. That when, uh, that was when it wasn't no free in the South. It was a slave in the South. You don't remember that. You see, that's how come God made us. He made you white and made me black. And I can tell you about the black. Now I'm about the black. When night comes, listen to what I'm say. This is what I'm finna say. Real important. When night comes, listen to me real good. This is real important. When night comes, all people got the right mind to get where they're going to spend the night. But a person don't care about his ship, he'll get out there in the dark. And he don't care. He soon won't be able to travel night or day. Well, I use my artwork something like um, I draw my name, I write my name on it, and um, and uh, put my age on it when I was born. On it. And, and that people see, see it, and they like it. Everybody not going to like what one man like, another man won't like it. But sometimes, hey, what one man don't like, another man will. Or putting it by my, by my drone, he'll see, and uh, if he like it, he'll address me that I got my right mind if I can draw a picture and he'll hold up that I got my right mind. When I'm dead and gone, my drawing are wolf, a mansion, a mansion. Cause one of the things, it won't be nobody to draw like me. That's one of the things.